Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Gomez and today we're going to be doing something super fun. Uh, we're going to be making some of these. That's right, sonajas. Okay, this is a sonaja, otherwise known as a, as a shaker, a Brazilian style shaker. And it's not something that I bought at a store. Uh, this is actually something that I made using uh, some very simple cheap stuff that uh, you might have lying around the house or you might just need to go run to the store uh, to get. Okay, so I'm going to show you what you need and how to make it. Very simple. And it sounds great. Once you have this, it's going to last for, for a long... It should last for a long time and it should sound really good. Okay? Alright, so this is what you're going to need. A minimum of two bottles of Yakult yogurt. This is like a... If you don't know what this is, it's like a Japanese style uh, yogurt. It's good for you. Uh, probiotic. This is actually not the Yakult brand. This is Epoca. Um, I, I get this kind because I think it tastes better. Uh, and it's really good. You can get it from the Paletero, you can get it from Food for Less, from a uh, uh, health food store, wherever you could find this, okay? It's not too hard to, to come across. And these are going to be the main part of the shaker, and I'll, I'll show you what that is in, in just a second, okay? Uh, you're going to need about a fourth of a cup of rice, okay? Any kind of rice. Uh, you're going to need some type of glue. Um, preferably some type of uh, super glue or gorilla glue or, or something of that nature. What I have right here is, is called a, a epoxy. Um, this is like a two-part uh, epoxy that you need to mix and, and stuff. The reason I'm using this is just because the stronger the glue is, the, the better chances uh, your shaker has of surviving the times. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're going to need some type of tape. Uh, and I recommend getting these super cool duct tapes. I, f I found these at Walmart. I think you can get them at Michael's too. Um, and they have designs on, on them already. So if you saw my shaker, this is this kind of tape right here. Okay, so they have the designs on them already. So no matter what you do with this, it's going to make your shaker look super cool. Okay, um, so some type of duct, duct tape. Uh, you're going to need a knife, but Keep in mind with parental supervision, okay? Any kind of exacto knife or some kind of good blade. Um, but do not start cutting things uh, unless you have a parent or um, and somebody older um, helping you out, okay? All right, and then you're going to need some type of cork. You can order a whole bunch. Of, this is a cork that I found lying around. But uh, you can order bags of, of this type of cork uh, from Michael's. Uh, right now they're doing curbside pickup, so if you if you order before three, you can get a whole bag of this, and buy yourself like a, a, a set of of Yakult yogurts, and you can make a whole bunch of shakers, okay? Um, and then this is just a little uh, a little popsicle stick that came with the epoxy that I bought, okay? Okay, step one, we're gonna take our cork, and we don't need the whole thing uh, because basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cork. And it's going to become like a separator between the two bottles, like that, okay? But this is a whole lot of cork, so we don't, we don't need the entire thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half uh, so that these two, so that the mouthpieces of each yogurt bottle can, can meet at the middle. And this is to separate uh, the rice in each one, because we're going to put rice in, in each one of these bottles. Um, and that's what's going to be the, the, the shake part of the shaker, okay? So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut this cork, okay? Uh, let's cut about, let's cut it in half, okay? And then we're going to use about half of it. So again, parental supervision, don't cut anything unless, oh, and then you're going to need some type of surface. Okay, I'm just using a piece of cardboard, um, but if you have a cutting board or something, even better. Okay, so let's cut this in half. And I think I'm going to use this piece because it's uh, it's pretty even on both sides. So what we want to do is we want to fill up each of these bottles. Uh, not exactly half of the bottle, but we want to fill it up to about this bottom part, okay, uh, of rice. So we're going to do the old paper trick. So you're going to get yourself a piece of paper, and I want you to fold a little bit of the end. Or, or fold it kind of like if you're making a paper airplane. Pour some rice on the paper. 
just so we don't make a super mess. Okay, it's about how much I, I'm, I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but that's about how much I think you're gonna need, okay? And then we're just gonna pour that into the into our, our bottle. Hopefully you make less of a mess than me. And it looks like, yeah, that, that's about good, okay? Even if it doesn't fill up all the way, as long as you get most of this area filled up, it really depends on you, okay? If you take that and you shake it, and you feel like it, it sounds pretty good to you, then you're good, okay? Um, yeah, so we're good. So, let's go ahead and let's take our cork, and we're gonna, we're gonna fit it in on one side, fit it in whichever way that it, that it fits best, Try to get half of it in there. Okay, now we have our cork in on one side. Then we're gonna take our glue, and if you're using this type of epoxy, what you're gonna do is you gotta take the cap off and you gotta squeeze a little bit of it um, onto your surface. That's quite a bit more than I needed. All right, and then make sure you put the cap back on. And this type of epoxy, you wanna mix it before you start using it, okay? So mix it real well. It's almost like we're making a cake, okay? Mix it up, and then we're gonna place just a little bit, okay? A little bit of glue around the mouthpiece, okay? Just a little bit. It's already too much. <laughs> just around the edge, okay? We're not trying to cover the cork, we're just trying to cover the, the mouthpiece. Okay, and then let's leave that for now. Let's take our other bottle. Fill it up with some rice. Okay, let's see how that sounds. Beautiful, okay? Same thing, we're gonna take some of our epoxy, mix it up, and then uh, put just a little bit around the mouthpiece. Not inside the bottle because you don't wanna start gluing the rice, right? You just wanna glue these two pieces together. Okay, just a dab all the way around. All right, now here's the hardest part, okay? We gotta put both of them together, but you don't wanna push the cork into the other side and you don't want it to be too uneven, okay? And you don't wanna get glue all over the place, obviously, okay? So we're gonna try to fit them in together. Let's hope it works out. <laughs> There we go. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I pushed the cork a little bit too much into this side, but that's all right, okay? Because uh, afterwards, we're gonna, we're gonna decorate it, you're not gonna be able to see it. But now that you have it like this, you can hold them together and actually test it. Sounds really good. Okay, it's been about an hour now. Uh, I let it dry for, for a good while. You might not have to wait an hour depending on the glue that you're using. Uh, but this epoxy I found works best when you, it says it, it bonds in five minutes, uh, which is correct, but you wanna wait about an hour for it to dry completely before you start doing anything, okay? So now we have our, our shaker. It's intact, okay? Let's go ahead and touch that glue. Yep, totally dry, okay? So, now just to reinforce it a little bit more, we're gonna take one of our duct tapes. Um, since I made the last one with this type of tape, I'm gonna use this tie-dye tape right here. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. If I could peel the tape off. There we go. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut off a little bit like this. Got my scissors here. And we're gonna use this 
to just kind of reinforce the center. All right, this little area. And we're gonna have to cut off another little piece of tape. Make sure you're molding it around that area so you get the whole thing. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing again. Just cut off a little piece, nothing too crazy. A little slice of, of tie-dye tape right there. And the same thing, just place that. And this is just reinforcing it, just in case the, the glue starts to fail on us or over time, you know, just the, the, the more reinforced it is, the better it's gonna hold up and the longer it's gonna last you. Okay, because this is this is not a toy shaker, okay? This is this is the real deal. <laughs> okay? So once you have it like that, um you've got it reinforced, you've got it glued, you've got the rice in there, sounds good. Um, after this, the rest is pretty much up to you as to how you want to decorate it, okay? So what I did with mine is I, I bought the super cool tape just so that I don't have to put any paint or anything and I just covered it in the tape. Um, I'm probably going to cover these areas too uh, and maybe these sides. Um, and it made it look really cool, okay? Just so that it, it, it doesn't just look like some yogurt bottles that, that you bought at the store, <laughs> even though that's what it is. Um, other things that I've seen people do is they've taken spray paint, again with parental supervision, uh, black spray paint, and they just coated the whole thing, and then you just made it completely black, and then you can get like nail polish or something and draw little, uh, uh, or paint little designs on them. Um, but I'm just gonna cover it in tape. So here we go, we're gonna cover it in tape, and there it is. Completely covered in tape, super easy. Um, but if painting is more your thing, uh, remember you could always just cover it in black paint and then paint over it later or whatever color you want. The decorating part is really up to you, okay? Um, the hard part is just putting it together. But um, now you have a workable shaker and it sounds great. So hope you enjoyed this video and take care.